I live on the top floor of a university accommodation building, with my own bathroom. My name is Sean Taylor, I am 22 years old. I believe in taking care of myself, in a balanced diet and a rigorous mental exercise routine. In the morning, I pour myself a bowl of cereal to eat whilst I ponder deeper meanings of the world. I can get through at least three bowls now. frightened bite, I chug a litre of filtered smart water. In the shower, I use a water activated gel cleanser. Then a deep pore cleanser and charcoal body scrub, and on the face, an exfoliating mandarin scrub. Then I apply a 30p Manuka Honey Facial Mask from Superdrug which I leave on for 10 minutes whilst I prepare the rest of my routine. I always use anti back hand sanitizer on my face because COVID has traumatised me, then a moisturiser, then an anti-aging eye balm, followed by a final moisturising protective lotion. There is an idea of Sean Taylor, some kind of abstraction, but there is no real me. Only an entity, something illusory. And though I can hide my cold gaze, and you can shake my hand and feel flesh gripping yours, and maybe you can even sense our lifestyles are probably comparable, I simply am not there. Okay. I didn't think I'd be crying. Camera. The final scene of Whiplash came up on my YouTube recommendation and I just watched it because it's such a good film. And it literally I'm just sitting here like so invested in the final scene. And to me that's such good storytelling. Oh because it comes up to this metaphorical and literal crescendo of 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 a story and music and I love it and that's why that's why I really want to do well in screenwriting oh my god <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because I don't mean to cry hopefully this translates into how dedicated I am to screenwriting because I kind of mentioned how um, 
screenwriting is important to me and I'm at university and I'm in final year and we do final projects like final short films um, that will potentially be put into film festivals by the university I use this I, I, I don't use this word lightly actually I'm desperate to write the final project because it's what I want to do and I don't want to be turned down and be like your ideas but they're just not cutting it we've everyone else's ideas are like really good so we've picked other people's and unfortunately we haven't picked yours so you're just gonna have to pick up another job and then I'm gonna be stuck with doing like camera operating or holding the fucking boom mic or whatever and I really don't want to do that because I'm so in love with screenwriting and storytelling like it my dissertation my degree essay I'm planning on doing it about storytelling and screenwriting and narrative structure etc etc again it's still early days on that I'll talk about that one like when we get more into it but and I mentioned like having 10 ideas and submitting 10 ideas I came up with eight pretty good ideas in my humble opinion and I sent them to some of the tutors and they they came back with some really good feedback and now past few days I've been racking my brain over making this good so that they pick me I just had this massive like headache stress headache family members and friends so it's stress about it if you're watching it's nothing it's just uh, the, the writer the writer in me like I can't even bring myself to watch a good film because it just stresses me out like I put the lighthouse on earlier to watch for the first time and I was just like this is so good and I can't give it the attention it needs so I'm not watching it and then yeah I just watched the, the final scene for Whiplash and I just started bawling <laughs> so I was like oh it's so good the storytelling is so good still doing it and it's all just, oh it's so good and that's what makes me excited to be a screenwriter and now I sit here with eight ideas in front of me a short film for my final project and I'm praying that one of them gets picked but I just wanted to say that because I felt inclined to